Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, I have this EVGA 700 watt power supply. And when I want to talk about power supplies a little bit. I want to talk about the correct wattage to use, why I chose this brand, and a little bit more of my theory behind it. We're going to unbox this power supply too. Now just real quick, you can fast forward this video if you like, but the reason why I had to buy this is because my backup computer rig, my power supply died, okay? And so I want to talk about this a little bit. And this is not a freebie, it's not a promo. I actually bought this myself on Amazon. And I will have a link for you in the description down below. I got this at what I believe is a very good price. Now my general rule of thumb for power supplies is this is a part where you don't really want to go too cheap on it, okay? Um, for most computers, you need probably between 500 and 700. My main rig has over a thousand watt power supply because of the editing and gaming I do on it. But really 700 is pretty good for most applications. Now, as far as pricing goes, people say, hey Tux, like what's a fair price? I see them on eBay for 30 bucks, you know, cool colored ones, off brands or whatever. Now, power supplies are one thing which I don't like to mess around with and I like to get a good brand, okay? And the reason why is because if you have a power supply failure, it can hurt other elements of your computer. Like, do you wanna have a power supply fry and accidentally like short out your motherboard, you know, or cause other problems with video cards and things. Heck no, you know, so you want to go with a good brand. And I will say EVGA is a brand which has done very well with me through the years. I have had to return a few things on like a manufacturer RA, like our return authorization, and they'll ship you a new one. In fact, many times they'll actually ship me an upgraded one, a newer version of a similar product. And it's really good. These guys have great customer service, and I really am a believer in these guys for video cards and also power supplies. Uh, my other rig, I do have a cooler master power supply a 1000 watt power supply which is really good too so i do like their products as well but the warranty on these guys really cannot be beat okay now as far as pricing goes a general rule of thumb is basically if you cover up this the first zero there 70 basically a 700 watt power supply a good price is somewhere around seventy dollars now you can get them on sale okay and that's fine you know if you get a good deal on a good name brand that's a plus but if you're seeing a power supply like on ebay for like 30 bucks and you know it's 500 watts or 700 watts or whatever there's a good chance it may not last that long you know so that's the clencher if you need to to save money you know you could buy a cheaper one but you know basically you know a 50 watt power i'm sorry a 500 watt power supply probably is gonna be about 50 bucks you know a thousand watts power supply is gonna be over 100 there's a little bit of a curve on the price there but 700 i think is really the sweet spot for a lot of people okay now looking at this power supply this thing is heavy first off i will say the packaging is very good retail packaging as you can see we got some information here on the side bronze level okay there's different levels they have this is one of the cheaper ones but it still is good enough definitely for gaming and a lot of applications um it's good for my backup rig for sure what you get with it you get power supply very solid sturdy steel really great comes with an adapter not all power supplies come with this this is a special motherboard adapter which is great comes with a little book and comes with the cord so great collection and really the most important thing about this is the support EVGA give great great support okay okay to wrap this up guys this has been a video for the EVGA 700 watt bronze level power supply which is more than enough power to actually definitely allow your gaming video editing and such I mean unless you're rendering in 4k or gaming in 4k a lot and maybe you need higher but in general unless you're running like multiple like 1080 cards or whatever this is probably enough power guys honestly uh, sometimes more power is not necessarily the best option I mean it can cost you more than the electric bill and be a little unnecessary sometimes it can create extra heat too so something to consider uh, but this is really a great value if you want one of these bad boys click that link in the description down below or you can actually click that link and check out other EVGA or other power supplies too. The Amazon link is down below for you, okay? Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Be sure and check out my other channel, Tux Toys over here. You can click that link on the side of my homepage, check out Tux Toys, lots of toy reviews. Be sure and check out this channel, Tux Reviews on Instagram and Twitter for slice of life photos you'll see nowhere else, okay? Maybe even some video like installation of this particular product, you know? And then be sure and check out Tux Toys also has its own Instagram and Twitter okay all right friends we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching this video and click that link okay